Hey, it's Jessica, and I got a surprise package, and this is from Stephanie, otherwise known as Sherwood's Small Pets, which I will link in the description because you should subscribe to her if you're not already. Um, I don't know what this is. It's uh, not that big, so I don't know what she got in here. It's totally a surprise. I wasn't expecting anything from her. She didn't say anything. So we will. I don't know. I should have done this before. This is gonna be a fail. Apparently I can't even pry it open with my mouth, because that's what I was trying to do. <laughs> Come on. This is why I don't like these envelopes, because they're so sticky. Okay, I give up. Hold on. Get back. Even with two hands, that was a really big pain in the butt. I wonder if this is just a toy she made. Oh, maybe. Come well, on, now I probably guessed it. Because she's been designing toys for um, Zoe and Lilo's toy box. So maybe she's giving out samples. I just ripped the tissue paper. Come out. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Let's read what this says. This is my name. Oh, oh. oh there we go. This is my name. Ew, what is all over me? There we go. <laughs> Surprise! I improved on the original garland for the, the store, so I thought it was only right that you get the prototype. Hope you and the girls enjoy it. Love, Stephanie. Smallest envelope ever, maybe? Yes, that is a, like, I don't even know they sold them like, like this size. But, because I don't think I've seen them this size. Maybe at the post office. I don't buy my stuff at the post office. P.S. If this takes a month to get to you, I'll fight someone. <laughs> and that's because last time, if you remember the story, you know, the post office she went to was retarded and stuff happened. It got sent back to her twice. And we live only a few hours apart. It's not like she's crossing borders. We're both Canadian. Oh, it's got these blocks on them. That's awesome because I don't have any twos of this block. Oh, this is kind of nicer. Some of these crazy things that can just come off. Can they come off? Oh, you're so smart, Stephanie. These blocks block them from coming off. I like it. I wonder where I'm gonna hang this one. Oh, and you included clips this time. Cool. I wonder if you got the idea from me. Did you? Hmm? Was this all my idea since you saw me clip it onto the cage before with my extra hay baggy clips? That's pretty sweet. Are these the same blocks? Three and seven? See, I don't get these play blocks in Canada because they're like Petco chews. I don't even know if this is a proper chew or if this is just like kids' toy blocks that you can like drill into. I'm sure kids' toy blocks are safe, maybe. They tend to put lead paint in kids' toys nowadays, or they used to. <laughs> I'm sure it's safe. If you made it, it's safe. I know that. Eight and a four. And a bug. I'm, I'm more interested in the these shoes than anything else on it. It's got a heart. <clears throat> I'm thinking this is all made out of the uh, willow or vines or whatever. So yeah, I'll have to hang it up. I don't know where. Somewhere. But I will. Maybe over there. Over there, by the tunnel. Between the tunnel and the hoodie hood, if you can see that. I don't feel like getting up. Over there somewhere. Where they can't touch it. <laughs> no, I'll make sure they can touch it. I'll probably have to add some clips to lower it. But thank you so much. They might like it, they might not. My girls aren't really chewers. Either way, I like it, and I like decorating the cage with them. So now, I don't know. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask, and you can check out Stephanie's channel. And Lilo and... Zoe's and Lilo Toy Box is the website that they sell all these, like, chews from. 
and toys. Maybe I'll, I'll put that in the description also. Not talk. So thanks for watching and bye bye. Doo -doo.